People ask me um, why I became an architect. Um, I was struggle at the moment. Um, I mean, she, when she asked me why I became an architect, I, I don't know. But uh, now I'm an architect. Uh, I, I used to be, actually, originally I, I want to be a nuclear physicist. And then I found out that my chemistry score is not that good. And that brought me to the morning session that you said the education is not working. And I think it might be, otherwise I would have been the nuclear physicist at the moment. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to talk about architecture. And well, I, I work on so many levels of projects, you know, from residential, um, condominium, hotel resort, a lot of things. But, but there is something in my work that people keep talking about. They don't understand how and why I'm working like that. There are still something in my work that people like about it. You know, when people stay in my hotel, they said, it's always the best place to have sex. <laughs> and I don't, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I just work on it and I never think about that, but it's surprisingly uh, good. Um, anyway, <laughs> so, so I start to rationalize my work. You know, in a way that how did I do it? How can I make it? And, and when you are actually getting old, the problem of getting old is that you start to stuck with what you do, right? And you never actually explore new possibility, new things, and you start to work like a machine. And you are really a machine, you know, like an architect as a machine. And you keep on working, working, working. And you will never look back on how you do it. And once you realize, you're just getting stuck again. And, and you start losing your confidence. How, how did I do it? How did I make it, right? So the thing is that I want to take you to my project in uh, I display in Venice Binale last year. And um, it's a very small project. It's so small that I can put on the stage right now. So this is the project I work uh, exhibition for the Venice Minale last year. So it, it looked like a simple piece of uh, work uh, that I actually trying to rationalize my project to the proportion. There is one key word that actually describes my work is the world of proportion. And I think if I can understand that, I can deliver that to everyone in this room. So you can be me, you can work like me. And and it, it could be very simple for you to work like me. And it doesn't need me to do my work. And that would be my you know, privilege to, to give you all that, right? So this is, this is the, the experimental project I did. And it looked like a very simple block. And actually, eventually, if you, you know, follow this to the end, you see that we can, you can all create architecture like what I did, as simple as a cup of noodle. I forgot to press that. Anyway, all right. So the project was very simple. It's a wooden block, and it's the acrylic block. You can see that, very simple. This is acrylic block. This is wooden block, as simple as that. But the, the key is that I use the proportion of all my work. There, there has always been some proportion that I use, like 2.7, 3.2, 5.5, 6.0, 8 meter, 7.2, you know, this kind of proportion that I use. And, then, and I never know where it came from. When, when, when my staff worked with me, I said, this is going to be 3.2. And they said, why can't it be 3.3? I said, no, just do it, 3.2. <laughs> and, and I used that proportion that I got, you know, from all of my life, 22 years of work. Um, to come up with this block, okay? So it's a proportional block. And, and it's, it's, it seemed to be, well, the, the, the person who works with me, is, her name is Pai. She is one of my staff, so her name is Pai's block. Um, and, 
And I think it's, it's very interesting in the way that the project works. The idea is that you can put this block and put it together in, in any kind or any way that you want to do it. And it, it, it can create an architecture like very fast, you know, right away, like a machine, like a machine. And, and I think uh, that was the idea of the exhibition I put in Venice Biennale. I, I asked people to actually play with it, um, play, play around with it, and, and create a um, new kind of architecture every five minutes. So, so, so I'm, I have actually, before I, I came to Chiang Mai, this trip, I, I asked my staff to do that. And um, they seem to be very fun about that. So the idea is that you have the right methodology. Design can be very simple. And I always believe in that. You know, I, I don't think it should be the word about design that have any privilege to it. It should be design and architecture always you know, belong to all. It means that everyone can be an architect. Everyone can be the designer. And that will help this country actually move forward faster. If you think that creativity belongs to the architect, then we're stuck. Okay? So if we make it simple, we have to find the right methodology for them, and it will be very simple. So I asked my team to do that, uh, experimental. And if you want, uh, I can ask someone from below to actually help me with that. Is that anyone want to do that? My son ran away, and my daughter hides behind her mother. But anyway, look, have a look at this. Can you press the... Video, please. Yeah. So, so the idea is the we using the block and creating uh, the architecture uh, in in just only few minutes. Okay. So, so that's the idea. That's one architecture. And then uh, we start moving again and creating another architecture. So I just realized in the process that this is real. You know, this is something that we use in the office. This is, has been the way I work for at least for the last 10 years, but I never realized that. And, and it became, you know, once I understand it, how I do it, it became very rationalized, and, and, and I can teach other people to do it. So, so it's not, there is nothing very difficult about my architecture from now on. And um, it can be a very simple thing. Um, yeah, and, and this guy is actually creating an, another architecture. So, so while we are talking, you know, this like uh, for the last six minutes, um, we, we have been producing like five architecture already. So, uh, but, and that's the whole idea. Anyone from the floor want to try this block? We have six minutes left and you can play with that. Anyone want to do that? Okay, cool. You have to do it good, right? <laughs> Thank you for your for the, accept my invitation. Can you do that? Okay, we got you have like something like five minutes, so you can create one that looks really nice. It was tempted, isn't it? You want to play with it, right? Green space. Yeah, cool. Uh, I need a swinging pool. Okay. Don't tell them that you're an architect, right? My God. Cool. Maybe another bedroom here. A few bedrooms. Bedroom. This is like three bedroom house. Yeah. Could be. bedroom. yeah. Uh, maybe I do need this. I need a bit of parking, though. Yeah. This could be a maid quarter, you know? This is a. Uh, Right, it's not so good, right? Can, can we give him a, a little bit of applause? Thank you. Right, so that's it, you know, architecture. You, you once think that it's very difficult, right? And you have to pay me a high fee to do that? No, it's not. You still have to pay me a high fee. But it's not that difficult. And once you think or you realize that it's not that difficult, it doesn't mean that you don't have to hire an architect to do so. You still have to hire one. But at least you can understand more how they work. And you can use that kind of system to work out proportional in your life. And I think um, 
you might find something hidden behind all the rational of what you do. Maybe the music, maybe the, I don't know, writing, maybe, I don't know, engineering, factory, I don't know. But there is something behind that. If I can find a rational behind my complex work, you know, in terms of aesthetic, maybe you can find also yours. And once you get deep enough, deep enough, you will find it. And, and it can be very simple. And once you found it, and it became very simple for you, what I ask you to do, one thing, is to give it away. Just to give it away. And this blog is for you. Thank you so much.